What's good guys? For all the people that are new to my channel, hi, my name is Cash. Thank you for tuning into this video. Maybe you'll get to learn a little bit about me. If you are new, you should hit that subscribe button so you can join this family because this is the best family ever. Okay, so this video is my first ever Q&A and I'm super excited to answer all these questions. So stay tuned for the video to see your question answered and also for the ending of the video because I'm going to be doing comment of the day. So comment down below to be featured in my next video and give this video a thumbs up without further ado we're just gonna hop right into the video also if my voice is cracking i'm sorry because i think i kind of lost my voice just just a little bit all right let's go all right so the first question is from tanaya shout out to you girl she said what inspired you to do youtube videos huh that's a good question what inspired me to do youtube videos is i love making things i didn't want to ask my mom like hey can you give me a crop top and i'm more of like a diy kind of person so I like turned all my shirts into crop tops. It just seemed something that was really cool and something that I was really interested in. I love making videos. I always made videos prior to this. I love editing videos and I love mainly making like kind of videos that had like b-rolls and stuff in it. I would like make my own music videos and stuff and post them onto YouTube. But that channel, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you guys about that channel. You can go search for it if you want to. You can find it if you want to, but I'm not gonna link it anywhere. So if you know, then you know. But I used to make videos like that and it was pretty cool I really enjoyed it so I was like why not make my own channel and share that with the world so that's why um also the youtubers that I was watching at the time obviously influenced it like Bethany Moda and I was watching Alicia Marie at that time so that's what inspired me just watching other youtubers and wanting to share how I did things for people who obviously didn't have money for it the next question is by Godsveed I hope that's how you pronounce it so they asked me two questions the first is what's your aesthetic that's a very good question because I love things that are aesthetically pleasing but I don't know if I really found my own personal aesthetic because I feel like I can be in a mix between like a few different ones like I know whenever I'm thinking of aesthetic I'm always like on the vaporwave kind of aesthetic but also like that's a really good question <laughs> other than vaporwave I feel like that's literally it the next question they asked is how old are you I'm 23 my birthday is October 31st hey. all right I'm not gonna say this right so I'm just not gonna say it but Shout out to you girl because you subscribe to my channel and I subscribe back and I like your videos. Do you want to make YouTube a full career or is it a gateway to other things? I do want to make YouTube my full career, but it is also a gateway to other things. <sighs> I felt like I was going to keep this to myself, but I'm going to let you guys know anyways. Um, I do want to have my own clothing line and I do want to have my own makeup line and I do want to eventually write a book one day and I want to eventually be in movies and I want to do modeling. I feel like YouTube kind of like gives you opportunities to be able to do almost all of those things so yeah but YouTube as my full-time job is like number one like I really want that and then within that I'm obviously gonna like you know reach for more a question from Anna and Sharon shout out to you guys who's your fashion inspiration that's a great question um I don't really think I have one specific person I mainly go on Pinterest and that's where I get my fashion inspiration from if you guys want to follow my Pinterest looks board where I put like all the cute things that I'm feeling so Pinterest definitely number one I guess also youtubers I kind of just like what I like and whatever I see if it looks good I kind of like it so that's my inspiration shout out to you guys again for asking me a question the next one is from Kayla she said the first one is will you be my big booty Judy but that wasn't the real question so yes second is how many siblings do you have I have three I have an older brother I don't I wonder if they want to be named I don't know but they're gonna be named either way who cares so I have an older brother his name is Richard I have a brother that's younger than me he's 18 like when did he get that old I don't get it his name is Isaac and then I have a little sister so she's 16 oh turning 16 or is she 16 now oh my god when do they grow up I don't get it and her name is Damar so shout out to her that's all of you guys I love them they're my fam and hopefully they're watching this video because if not fate just just fate 
All right, guys, and so now I have a few questions that my bestie Melissa asked me, and she has had a whole list of them, and they're pretty darn good. So I'm just gonna be reading those and answering those for you guys. Okay, so the one of the questions is, where did your inspiration for makeup, hair, and photography slash videography come from? Um, my inspiration for makeup and hair, I guess my mom, really, I don't know, because when I was, ever since I was like little girl, obviously my mom would wear makeup, and I would always wanna play in her makeup. I would always wanna wear makeup to school, and have nails and lashes and my eyebrows done like that's just something I guess little girls are kind of into you kind of see it from like your mom and stuff and it just looks cool and my hair I guess my mom as well maybe also things that I see on TV you know I always wanted to have like the nice long straight hair and there's times where like I didn't have that and I would just do my hair my own self because I don't like waiting on people and I have to look a certain way so like if my mom wouldn't like you know like get my hair done the way I wanted it to I was kind of forced to either like go to school looking like that or you know take the initiative myself and do my hair myself so that's definitely how I learned to do my own makeup and to do my hair is just by doing it makeup I also looked up on YouTube and stuff little things like that kind of like pick up on things oh and the next one videography and photography I just love the camera I love taking pictures and I love pictures being taken of me I don't remember where videography came from I love creating and I just I love the music Music video scene so the second part of that question is do these people still have an influence on you today um I didn't really have many influences I guess in the beginning I said my mom with the hair and the makeup and no not really because I'm more fashionable with the hair and makeup now than she is so she's not still an influence with those things and for the videography and photography mainly just the things that I saw on TV like music videos and stuff like that and those do still have an influence on me like Cardi B's new video be careful I'm like mm. that was just straight out Illuminati that does not have any influence on me but I'm just I thought I should mention that to you guys like what do you think about that video because because I feel like it was just so straightforward with the Illuminati. Like she just did not even care. Anyway, so another question is, we get glimpses of Grayson on YouTube and Snapchat. Grayson's my cat, by the way. What's the history behind wanting a cat, actually getting one, and if you have a favorite breed, as well as the maintenance and expense of being a pet owner? So the history of wanting a cat, I don't know, when I was younger, I used to hate cats and only love dogs because I felt like cats were evil. And I felt like if you stared at them too long, and if they stared at you in your eyes, they're just gonna be like, Kr. and I was just like kind of creeped out by them. And then I met this cat, but she was a black and white cat, and she was so sweet and adorable. Kind of didn't really care about me touching on her sometimes, but she was just so adorable. I was like, I fell in love, like she's just so cute. And ever since then, I've always wanted a cat, and I would like try so hard to get a cat, and I would pray for a cat, and I would manifest a cat, and it just didn't happen. And then one day when I ended up getting with my boyfriend. My sister's friend, her cat ended up getting pregnant and she was just like, hey, I have cats. Like, And I was like, what? I want one and then it happened. So yeah, I was just like madly in love with cats and it just didn't work out at the time that I wanted it to work out, but then it worked out in the best way. And that's how Grayson came about. And I knew him since, literally since he was in the stomach and I watched, well, I didn't watch him be born, but like the day he was born, I was there. So I pretty much just literally been with him since he was born. Do I have a favorite breed of cats? Probably Persian cats because they're just so adorable with their cute little eyes and their flurry fur. Um, Other than that, I guess tabby cats are so cute too. I also have one of those. His name is Apollo and he's so sweet. But Grayson is, I don't know if he's like, his mom is a calico. They don't know what his dad is. So I don't know if he's just like considered a short haired cat. But I love short haired cats too because obviously they're not long haired. <laughs> okay. Grayson's an amazing cat. He's so handsome. So I love his breed as well if we could ever figure out what it is. I guess the maintenance and the expense of being a pet owner, he's really not that expensive. When it was the both of them, it was more expensive, but I guess the most expensive thing for him would be his litter, which is probably like $12, and you probably get it like once a month. So that's about it. He's really not that expensive. He's a good boy. There's an increase in your subscribers. What do you have to tell the new viewers who may look at you as guidance or entertainment? Shout out to everyone that just subscribed to me. I love you guys. You guys are the best. That's what I want to say to you guys. Thank you for being here and I hope you stick with me throughout this whole long journey because I got a lot coming and I want to
to create our family and make it bigger so the question that I have for you guys is what would you like for us to be called because I just I can't figure out a name and it's just it's bothering me because I want to call you guys something especially the people that have been here since the beginning like we need a name because you guys are just like rock solid other than that I would say just be yourself whatever you want to do just go for it and I'm really crazy and funny out of my mind so I hope you enjoy it subscribe that relationship slash sister dynamic with your best friend. Um, it's literally best friend slash sister. Like she's the longest friend that I've had that's been consistent, I believe. Actually, yeah. We've been friends since eighth grade in middle school and I was like, we don't talk every single day, but like, it's like an unspoken bond. We don't even have to talk, but we would just like click like that. And like, obviously she gets me annoyed and obviously I get her annoyed because like, that's what family does, you know? They piss you off. When you love someone, they just piss you off. But at the end of the day, you know, you still love them and you still care about them. She's a ride or die and she's gonna be there in my wedding and in my everything. She's helped me out so much throughout my life since we've been friends. And I don't plan on her going anywhere because I mean, she's not allowed to go anywhere anyways. Wouldn't let her. So that's that. Like, I don't even need to speak on it because She's gonna be here forever and I'm gonna be here forever. I forgot, Jade asked me a question too. Shout out to you, Jade. Um, He said, is he my best friend at work? And the answer is yes, you are my work best friend. Yeah, so that's all the questions that I have today. I hope you guys were able to learn something about me. If you want me to do another Q&A or if you just have any questions that you want me to answer, comment them down below. Thank you so much for everyone that asked the question because you guys are the reason why this is possible. I love all of you guys. You guys are the best. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can be a part of my family because I love you guys so much and I care about y'all. So the comment of the day goes to, drum roll please, Miss Lulu. That's cause she like always comments on my stuff and because she's my new YouTube friend. So hey girl, thanks for commenting on my YouTube videos. Hope I get to meet you one day. That's the video, love you guys. See you later, comment down below and bam.